So look what showed up today. Some 13 inch 412s and a progressive spring kit. Been reading some conflicting things about the progressive screen kits. So I don't dark spring kits. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But this thing is uh shocked is filthy. Everybody in the shop is taking a look at it. But it's gonna raise her up a bit. Crazy amount. But that's the way they the European models, Euro spec ones, come. I need to find the uh fender piece to put the license plate on the back it looks I uh, really like that look I don't know where I'm gonna find that it's like a like a little bit of a fender extension then it has the of course the license plate holder I'm not a big fan of the side plate thing so uh, I'm gonna get rid of that and uh, it'll look normal being high it's gonna I mean that fender is gonna really be up in the air like oh Doughboy's garage, he says. Cat, gotta look underneath there before you take off for work. Cat be, could be asleep underneath there. So anyway, I'm gonna install these right quick. So I'll, I'll come back and forth and we'll get this thing done. I'll take you through uh, installing the, the shocks on this thing. So uh, hang with me. Oh, and uh, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> All excited about getting the shocks here. And, didn't say you welcome but uh anyway cool stuff we'll get her done so we'll be right back first thing you're going to need is a uh, number 50 or a t50 torx i've got some in my bag over there but this is a nice set from cornwell in case you guys that don't know about torx you need to go let's just grab a handful of them here i'm sure you've seen a lot of stuff about torx but you can be fooled on what the right size Torx is. So this is a, uh, what are we at here? A 45, a 47, and a 50. Well this one is a big jump, it goes to 55. But I want to show you something here. Something you gotta watch. That appears to fit. That appears to fit. This is in fact the correct fit. The rule of thumb Go until you go to a size that's too big. Of course, this is not a good example because, you know, from a 50 to 55 is a pretty healthy jump. But, you know, if this was a 47, the 50 would not quite go in. Seen way too often. Like this one being a 50, a 47, and even a 45 would seem to fit. That thing's tight, which it is, because Harley Loctites these things into the frame. Um, you're going to booger up that Torx, and you're done. Torx are very powerful. They can take a lot of torque, but you need to have the right bit, a quality Torx. And as you're working with it, you can't, you know, be lollygagging going sideways. You, you have to make a concentrated effort to be straight with it. Incredible power you can get through them. And, um... Those of you that haven't done rear shocks on these things before, there's a 19 millimeter or three quarters of an inch, a nut on the back. And a lot of times I find, you know, this is pretty tight to loosen the uh, 19 millimeter first. Whoa, that's like stiff. I get that out of the way so I don't hit Anyway, I just want to show you that about the Taurus. The school guys at work all the time over there. The young lads that, that come about so I don't know if that oh, this is my American set I got a mixed breed in here so a three-fourths or 19 millimeter they're literally the same let's just loosen this right quick oh, I guess I need a wrench don't I uh, oh man I was in here the other day and I got everything all topsy-turvy this is not a not a very organized bag. Kind of my where I throw all my big crap. You know what? I don't think that's even in there. It's not. It's right here. And I like to have a good, you know, something 
powerful to work with. Least effort, the better. So, um, these things, uh, like I say, they can be really tight. This one's Loctite, so it's it's pretty snug too. But uh, if you can, give that 19 millimeter a slight turn first. And then she'll loosen right up. And it would appear that that nut, I did this in my 1200, that nut looks like a, a self-locking nut. In fact, it's not. Once it's loose, it's, it just comes on out. Oh, look at that. Hardly actually put some anti seize on there. How nice is that? What you doing, woman? And I'm like right in your way, aren't I? Oh, yeah. And this one could be good and tight. Let you, let you in. Did you already go to the store? No, not yet. Um, my glasses, the ones I wore out today are sitting in that little cup holder. Would you mind grabbing those? All right. you anyway, I'll leave that one in so it doesn't... things don't go flopping around. Oh, <laughs> jumped a very important spot. The jack is just... the wheel's just touching the ground. So it's not going to spring down, it's not going to spring up. Okay. So there's just enough pressure on there. I'm actually talking to YouTube here, woman. See how I do YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, uh, when I got it, it, the suspension creaked right away. And when Harley had tightened that thing, they'd let that cup roll over and it was tucked into that, that little groove. And you'd up and down, and I'd go. Yeah, anti seize on it. Or molly grease or something. Nice. Got the top dirty. Anyway, that's it. Shock is off. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> anyway, there's a substantial difference between these hug down, butt dragging on the road shocks. It all looks cool and everything, but not very functional. That actually looks more than, than two inches. In fact, these seem smaller than the 11s. I, I had to actually measure them to make sure they were 11 inch eye to eye. But they are. But anyway, there's a, um, kits for the Harleys with little special instructions. You got some bushings and some uh, spacers to keep the the uh, shock from hitting the belt guard and whatnot over there. But um, you can see the eyes offset on this. But anyway, um, I won't bore you with that. I think they even come with, yeah, it does. A little thing of grease. I think they want you grease in the bushings. I, I don't recall. It's been a year or so since I put the 430s on my 1200. But, uh, I got some stuff to install on the shocks before they go on the bike. So I won't bore you with all that. It's just a matter of driving them in. And I don't I don't beat them with a hammer. I, any hardware store. It's a plastic and rubber mallet. And it's more than enough. It, you won't think they'll go in at first, but they will. A few good wax back here. Okay. So I went to, uh, to drive those bushings in. And... Uh, Look out, Sophie. They, um, they don't drive in. The, the metal collars, they just slide right in. So, uh, with the, uh, with the Sportsters, you're using the collar and the spacer and the stock bolts. So, a little different than I thought it was. Sophie, what are you doing over there, dog? So, we'll put a little of this grease in the, uh, in the uh, bushing area here give them a little something to slip on make them function smoothly yeah that last little segment I did I 
Of course, if you've watched any of my moto vlog stuff, I have a tendency to. If you listen to my life, I really have a tendency to get kind of carried away on on other subjects. I constantly hear from her, just get to the point. What are you trying to say? I got this camera pointed down good enough if I don't it's gonna be a bust when it I'll tilt my head just a little bit here just to... so the molly grease I pulled the other shock off there's no oh what the hell a little hay let's see a little black flake of paint that came out of the inside of the shock or inside the bushing but anyway I I did have that shock all the way off. I was uh, um, trying to figure out what the squeak was. I didn't realize it was that that collar around the, the upper eye. My 1200 not having it. So it's third floor lingerie. I'm going to have to come up a bit here. I don't know where I'm going to end up. But I do like with the 13s on here, the they end up level. I need to get me a, a regular jack. You know, one inch socket so I don't have to use the. So, unlike the 430s I had on here before, this uh, looks like you can retain the, the uh, eye, eye uh, cup. The squeaking eye cup. Yeah, I think chirped like crazy. I stopped because I bought it 90 miles away, and for the first part, it was a lot of freeway. So you know, I did a lot of varying speeds, and you know, but became a, an obstacle out on the freeway. But I kept stopping and I letting it cool off a little bit. And it took me a couple hours or so to get home. This is what Harley did. They just randomly cranked this thing down and it spun. You can see where that, that's going to end up rusting. I need to deal with that at some point. But I actually was worried about it because I didn't think they'd use it with these shocks. So we are twisted a little and we're not high enough. So what we'll do here. Did I put that spacer behind there? Yep, yeah, only got three sitting there. Yeah, it's there. You guys are watching, but uh, it's kind of hard for you to go, hey, you're forgetting something. And yes, I know I don't have it in this one yet. Just trying to find the right spot here. And one thing about Molly, it's like uh, anti-seize. That sh sh stuff gets everywhere. And everything you touch is going to end up with it. Amazing stuff, but pain in the butt. It'd be messy. And here I'm working around a disc. It would probably not be a good thing to get get it on there, huh? So I'm not gonna snug all this up yet. I'm gonna, once I get uh, both shocks on here, I'm gonna. Oh, if you're wondering why I'm not using the box inside of that, it doesn't fit. I'm not a retard, and you know open end side of things is you don't usually put a lot of torque on that and for some reason that's it's like a weird spot in the bolt right there let's move a flat there we go maybe that was for me using the open end to take it off oh I forgot that thing doesn't have any Loctite on it or it doesn't self-lock. So I'm gonna get, you know, just lightly snug here. Plus I need to pay attention where that, maybe that truly is a 19 millimeter and the quarter inch is slightly different. But just lightly snug on here. And I guess I have an option of where I want the, whether I want to see the progressive or not. What the hell, I'll advertise for a bit. Do they face out or whatever. Anyway, that's one that's down. pretty heavy. That's awfully close to the exhaust. Uh, the short shocks are not very close to the exhaust. 
because the swing arm is sitting up quite a bit higher. Lost my nut, there it is. Get that started. And we'll take some take some weight off of this thing and and uh, snug everything down. And I took my socket off. He's been nervous being that closely lost. I'm going to do the same thing with this, just lightly snug them. I'm going to let the weight of the bike down. Well, there you go. The uh, the kitty port. And, and one thing I noticed too looking at the pictures when I was looking at these things, you could always see through the front of the tire. Which, I don't know why, it just looks cool. Looks like you take this damn thing off road or something. Not that I don't do that. I know I shouldn't. But I usually take motorcycles places, street bikes in particular. Places they have no business being. So enough weight that she's not gonna tip over off the off the stand here. We'll snug her down. And there we are. There's some 13 inch shocks on a 2013 iron 883. I'll tighten everything down.